Hello, hello, my friend Angel. Angel, welcome. Roberto to Tocayo, welcome. Good evening, sir. Hello, hello. Oh, it was good, cold, and good. I really, <laughs> yeah, all the day was cold. Today felt a little bit more windy than usual. Yeah. ¿Y qué dice el tocayo? Roberto, Alice, how you doing, sir? Hi, hello, late. <laughs> hello, hello, no, no worries, no worries. <laughs> Xavier, Xavier, how you doing? Hi, good evening, I'm pretty good, thank you. All right, good, good, same here. We were talking with Angel how cold it was today. Uh, it's a shame that the cold weather is ending. Yeah, when do, when do they say that it's ending, Angel? Uh, uh, 48 hours. Oh, no. I thought it was going to be like this all December, the rest of December. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, man. Okay, okay. You know what? That's all right. I'll 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 wait for another cold period. Yeah. All right. Good to see you guys all here. I think we might be waiting, waiting for a little bit. Let's hand back. Felipe, welcome. Alex, welcome. Week number four. Day number four. four. The last day. That's it. That's it. You know. <laughs> hey, I forgot yes. that I had to send the papers. Oh, whoa. That's a, you know what? That's okay, Angel. They 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 provided an extension, I believe. Oh, really? However, yeah. However, don't you know? Don't wait for the last moment. If if you have the information, send it yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tocayo number two, Roberto Celaya. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, sir. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening, sir. Mariana, bienvenida. Hello, hello. A ver, welcome. Welcome. All right. Well, I wanted to start off our presentation. Let me see. Let me let me share here with you guys. Okay. I actually bought a cake for me. Um, you know, I was going to give it to you guys, but since you guys are not like, you know, in the same classroom, then I'm going to have to eat it all by myself. Mm -hmm. Same thing goes for the tequila and the champagne. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, sacri sacrifices, guys. You know, these are the sacrifices that I do for you. <laughs> el, el amor que les tengo. Okay. <laughs> Como es pobrecito el teacher. Pobrecito con esa botella de tequila. The whole bottle. The whole bottle, man. Like, uh, huh? Yeah. You know. You know what? I I I drink I drink tequila with con la con el refresco de toronja. La, ¿Cómo se llama? Fresca. Yeah. Have you guys oh, ever tried it? Yeah. Oh, it's pretty good, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Well, All right. Was tequila, mezcal with the, the warm. Oh, mezcal, man, that's <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty tough. But they say yeah. that it's good, right? They told you guys it was mezcal is good. Yeah, I've heard it's good. All right, guys, I wanted to start off uh, last day, right? Congratulations, yeah. you made it. This is the this is the end of the classroom module, the classroom portion. We have very little to cover in regards to the sections themselves. Let me go ahead and show you guys what we have covered so far. 
Um, let me see here. All right. So we were in, we, we actually managed to, to complete section four in, in, in its entirety. And then we moved into section five. And then today what we had to get, what we had for you was, I was going to cover the pronunciation. And then there was a little bit more on vocabulary, but watching the video, you know, there was really not that yeah. much, there was really not that much that I could add to this. Um, same thing yeah. goes with the clauses because it's it's mostly all the stuff that we already saw and then they just added the because right in the video. So there was really not that much. The videos are quick. The videos are easy. You move yeah. into the lessons and then you finish off with the knowledge check. Ahora, he dejado el knowledge check así so that we can work it and also to keep on working on the final exams because we have B that I think we needed to complete still, D and E. And then I have very, I have a, a small portion of presentation that we need to cover and then that's it guys. Yeah. That is going to be it for us. Done. All right. All right. So let me go ahead and take care of this one real quick. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we left off in pronunciation, right? And this is you guys using ED, you know, the, the last two letters, ED, and mm -hmm. how to make it sound like either ID, the T sound, or the D sound. And then, so that's what we're going to work on today, this one here. And then it takes us to the objectives, the job hunting, the lesson objective, the personality traits, the lesson objective, the clauses, and then the knowledge check, right? So let's look at let's look at pronunciation, and then we'll go into our work environment. All right. So now, with the pronunciation of the ed, there is also the sound of ID that you guys will listen to like that, right? And so what we're going to work on is vocabulary and the sounds, the sounds that the T makes, the sound that the D makes, and the sound that the ID makes. But, spoiler, ¿verdad? No es una T la que hace ese sonido. It is not the D that makes the sound of the D, and it's definitely not the D that makes the sound of the ID. Sino que todos estos son these. All these words end with ED. Y okay. lo que cambia es como tú lo vas a pronunciar. Because in some of them, se va a escuchar bastante la D. En otros se va a escuchar bastante la I de y luego la T. Very sharp. La T. Right? So let's look at some of the rules in regards to that. Can everybody see the screen okay? Yeah. Okay. okay. So this is the rules, guys. These are the rules. We have voiced and we have voiceless when it comes to sounds, okay? A voice sound <clears throat> uses your vocal cords okay. and they produce a vibration or a humming sound in your throat, uh, right? Uh, okay. I want you to, I want you to touch your throats and say something, say, 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 say something. Say something, say something. Do you guys notice how it, it vibrates? There's a vibration there. Vibration. Ooh. All right. So depending on the word that you choose, yeah. you're either going to use a yeah. voiceless. Uh, you guys are going to say a, a, vo a voiceless sound or a voiced sound. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to practice on that. Now. The pronunciation of the words ending in ED 
depend on the final consonant sound. And so there are three ways. There is the ID, there is the T, and there is the D. If you guys see a word and that word has that T in the last portion of it, like in Ted, one Ted in that second syllable, or if you guys see a D, in this particular case, we have dead, like knee dead, okay? Then the sound that you should be making, it has to sound like an ID. So, wanted, wanted. Do you guys hear the ID? Wanted. Uh, o sea, we know that it's an ED, pero el sonido que tú estás haciendo es como que si es una ID. So, it sounds like this. Look, 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 look. let me write it down. With this one, it sounds like you guys are saying wanted. A ver, repitan ahí, wanted. Así como dice aquí, con la ID. Wanted. Wanted. Mm -hmm. You got it, wanted. Now, you guys are probably thinking, no, teacher, así no se escucha eso. Yo he visto uh, un montón de, de, de cosas. Oh, really? Really? Go back and listen to all those words that you think were not this you know there's a movie that's called wanted and then they tell you hey, come on you know look at it look at the movie wanted angelina jolie's in it wanted and then everything everything that they say is like this and now they're british so you can even hear it a little bit more because they say wanted right with that with that little british thing wanted okay now, the other word that we saw on here was needed. Same thing, right? Let's go, let's go ahead and put needed. Need it. I see. Ah, yeah. needed. Needed. Sometimes I don't feel needed. Ahí está. Wanted, needed. Wanted, needed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is he wanted for? Así, así. Cuando escucha una sentence, what is he wanted for? Wanted. Y, usted, y uno se queda, wanted. ¿Cómo dijo? Wanted or wanted? Well, you don't pronounce the wanted. It has to sound like an id. Wanted. Needed. Wanted. Needed. Mm -hmm. You guys all right with that? Is, that is, it, is it too shocking? Is it shocking? Have you guys heard of it before? Kind of, maybe. No. All right. Next. No. All right. So we're working on the syllables. You guys see that? All right. So now, if you have a P, a K, an F, a GH, an SH, a CH, an SS, a C, or an X, it is going to sound like a sharp T. Helped. Helped. Looked. Helped. Helped. Mm -hmm. You got, there you go. Helped. Helped. Looked. Looked. Uh -huh. Looked. You got it. There it is. I know, I know. It sounds weird at the very beginning because you're, you're thinking to yourself, but teacher, that's not how people say it. Yeah, that's how they say it. The thing is that we don't really pay attention to it. Uh -huh. We don't we don't stop and think. Oh my God, he's using a T as a sound. We don't. Por qué? Porque no somos. No andamos. No somos grammar Nazis, por ejemplo, right? And we're not going to be telling people how to how to pronounce things. Yeah. But now that you guys know, now you will. Si vos escuchas que alguien lo pronuncia mal, decíle no, man. That's not how you do it. Y hacerle así va. Stop. Stop. <laughs> You don't say, como dice la muchacha, no se dice helped, se dice helped. Helped. Yeah, you got it, Angel. You got it. A ver, let me see. A ver, aquí, vamos a ponerlo. Help. Así, ve. Eh? Perdón, perdón, puse una R, I got excited. Sorry about that. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's how it, that's how it is. Let's see. Helped. No. Sí, sí. Yeah. Helped. 
So you oh, gotta, there has to be, there has to be that T sound, helped, yeah. helped, right? Ahora, lo que tú estás haciendo es, estás tomando estas dos letras. So I think we can narrow it down to that. Helped, y podemos borrar esas dos, y solo lo dejamos así. Helped. Helped. Mm -hmm. Looked. Looked. Sniffed. Laughed. Mm -hmm. Laughed. Laughed. Uh -huh. Washed. Mm -hmm. Watched. Watched. Kissed. Kissed. Mm -hmm. ¿Se acuerdan de esa yes. canción de Madonna? Ah, no, esa es like a virgin, but perdón, perdón. Yeah. No, pero hay una que dice kiss for the very first time. No, no, pues no, never mind, never mind. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Totalmente se cruzaron los cables ahí. Kissed, right, kissed. kissed danced. Dance. And kissed. fixed. Tiene que ser la T, la T, fixed. Okay. Words that end in a vowel sound, use the D for pronunciation for ED. Por ejemplo, tried, played, enjoyed, followed, and continued. So if you guys see these, no vamos a aplicar esta regla de aquí, sino que solo vamos a ocupar la ED normal. Played, played, uh -huh. played, y se tiene que escuchar el ED, played. Ok, ahora, vamos con la D, as a, as a sharp D. Si ustedes ven que en esa última syllable, there is an L, an N, an R, a G, a V, an S, a Z, a B, or an M, then that is a D that you guys will sound out. And it's going to sound like called, cleaned, offered, changed, loved, used, amazed, robbed, claimed. So it's a single D y no se escucha tanto la E, la E D. Only the single D. Call. Regular D sound. Who called? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Did she did she clean? Well no, it should be did you have your car cleaned? Hey, I offered. Was it damaged? I loved her. I loved her. I love Jenny. I used the shoe. Oh, I was amazed. Well, I rubbed the lamp. And I claimed that for myself. So these are the rules, right? Whenever you guys see that syllable on that third, the third to last letter, if you see an L, an N, the G, the R, the V, the S, the Z, the B, or the M, that is a D. The T is for P, K, F, G, H, S, H, C, H, S, S, the C, and the X. And then whenever you guys see a T or a D, then it is the ID, wanted, needed. All right? All right. All right. Okay. So here is something for regular verb. Oh, now that I remember, Alex, I got something for you, buddy. So let, let's leave this one in our mind. I wanted to go back. And I before I forget, I don't want to forget again. Where did I put it? Where did I? Oh, no. Did I? Was that the last one that I did? Was that? 
Oh, no. Did I? I had something for you, Alex. All right. So let's, 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 let's go back to it. I'm sorry. I, I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll, I'll remember where I placed it. It's in regards to your question last night. And I found the way to say it in the clearest way possible because I think I think I was not clear enough. So so keep that in mind, Alex. We're, we're, we're going to come back to it porque lo guardé. I just have to remember where. All right, all right. So Okay. And this is what made me kind of go back to that, right? Regular verbs, past tense, past participles, and then adjectives. And then a key meeting. Wanted, needed, infected. And so when you guys want to talk about infection, infected. Infected. Infected, yeah. And then so we have helped, we have looked, we have relaxed, right? With a T, the sharp T sound. Helped, looked, relaxed. I know it sounds weird when you guys are like stopping and looking at it, but with time, it, it just becomes secondary. And then, of course, the D sound, which is called and cleaned and closed, right? The D, closed. So these are some examples that I got for you guys to show you past tense. And so just in case you guys had a question about whether voiced consonant or voiceless, um, I think it explained it pretty clear, right? A voiced consonant or a sound means that it uses vocal cords and you can really feel them in your throat. When you guys are saying the words, you can feel the vibration. A voiceless sound, sometimes called a non-voiced sound, is when there is no vibration in your throat and on the sound that you're making. So you, even though you say it, if you put your fingers on your throat, you guys are going to feel that there's no, there's no vibration in your throat or in your uh, vocal cords. So that is the difference between voiced and voiceless. And these are the sounds that I was telling you about. Wanted. And these are some words that you guys can use. So try to repeat them after me. Uh, you don't have to turn on your mic. You can leave your mic off. Just try to follow, right? We are going to use the ID sound. And that one should sound like wanted, waited, needed, folded. And so once you say them fast, wanted, waited, needed, folded. All right. Wanted, waited, needed, folded. And then mm -hmm. as fast, if you, the faster you get, the better you get at hiding that sound. The T sounds like you're saying talk and then there's a, there's a T, like shock, right? Talked, kissed. So we have the example of kissed and then the T, kissed, kissed, kissed. parked and helped. These are the examples of ID and the T sound. The D sound played, closed, opened and lived or lived. Sorry about that. Lived. Played, closed, opened, lived. Yeah. And the D, the D, the D. No E at the beginning. Es como cuando decimos a snoop with an E or just snoop. Right? A snoop or snoop. And it's the same thing, right? We don't sound out that E. The words that end in T or D the ed is pronounced as a syllable id and the rest of the words you can pronounce with the ed as a t and people will understand so you you can use the t or the d sounds and you can get really good at that most of the people will not notice however how but there are a few that will so ojo con eso va all right here are some more words that i found Give it a try and go ahead and practice some of these. Delen ahí. Delen ahí ustedes. Practice. 
Let's see some of these. Cooked, danced, Walked. yeah, talked, Slept. practiced, mm -hmm. hoped, stuffed, punished, switched. Oh, mm -hmm. Waved, killed. Changed. And you guys know that the ones with the ID voted, voted, yeah. minded, mm -hmm. sounded, demanded. <laughs> it sounds weird when you say it slow, but minded, sounded, demanded. You can't even hear it once you guys say it really fast. Wanted, waited, voted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Banged. Okay. Okay. Do you guys see any words here that you guys hadn't seen before and would like to practice saying them? From the purple section, do you guys have any words that, that catch your eye? Yes, this is word prefer. Prefer it. Prefer it. Oh, oh, okay. Let me see here. And it's in the purple? Let me see. Let me look yes. for it. Green, green. No, it's in green. Okay, okay. Ah, yes. este de aquí, esta. Yes, correct, correct. Okay, this one, Angel, you say preferred. Preferred, ah, okay. Preferred, yeah. Preferred. preferred. Acuérdate que como es doble R, se tiene que oír el brrrr. Preferred, yeah. Mm -hmm. Preferred. All right. Okay. Any other word that you guys see on there? Uh, the, the purple is, is not. Oh, this one. Uh -huh. Snatched. 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 Acordate, esa, esa ED no se va a escuchar como una ED, sino que como una T. Uh, snatched. Snatch. Snatched. Snatched. Mm -hmm. Some people say snatch. So the meaning of snatch is, yo tengo algo en la mano. Y yo vengo y te la quito de un solo. Tusquia. Va, como que se dice. Sí, es tusquia. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're snatching it away. So it's a snatch. So snatch or snatched. Snatched. A arrebatar algo. Arrebatar algo. Arrebatar. Sí, arrebatarlo. Okay. All right. Anything else you guys see on here? How about hypnotized? Mm -hmm. Have you guys heard that before? Hypnotized. Hypnotized, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Let me see. And the purple one, uh, the red. Oh, purple red. one. Okay. Red. This one here is a rest. Red. So I want to, let me see. Abisto, abisto. Have you seen those? Those little crowns made of this this a specific. It's a speak. It's a, it's it's called a wreath of laurels. Se lo ponían como a, la, a los campeones. I don't know if you ever seen those statues that have like a little una coronita. Right. But that's yeah. a well. It was made, it was made with, with the with laurel. Laurel. Yeah. Right. There's the leaf. leaf. By esa esa is wreath. So if you have one of those, you are wreath. Wreath. Oh. Wreath. Well, in this case, it would be wreath. Right. Wreath. Wreath. That one's kind of weird. Let's let's hold on. Let's let's practice saying it. Wreath. Yeah, that one is practice saying that one. Como era? ¿Cuál cuál era la que la que me costó a mí una vez? That was really easy. It had to do with going to the 
gym, I think it was. Hmm. I can't remember what, what the word. Rev. W R E A T H E D. All right. All right. So, significa que que pones que you in circle. A ver, a breath. And so, how do you say it? A ver. Envuelto. All right. Breathe. Oh my goodness. Wreathed. Wreathed. Uh huh. Wreathed. Pero acuérdate que este lleva ese. A ver. Breathe. Uh huh. Breathe. Vaya, so in British, Breathe. in British English, it sounds a little bit different. Se escucha un poquito más la D. But in American English, it's just the T. Breathe. 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 Yeah. Okay. Kind of breathe. Like breathe. When you're breathing. Well, it, it's kind of the same. Like, like right. if you wanted to say breathe, you would breathe. only need to change the W to a B. Yeah. And that's it. Oh, look. Please. So, so Please if you say, say breathe, it's como de corona. This, this is the one that I was telling you about. Que es como una coronita que te ponen de laurel. And so yeah. it became very, mira. Laurel wreath, so that would be Corona de Laurel, okay? Laurel. All right, so that was, okay, yeah. Corona de Laurel, Laurel wreath. And then it would have to sound out. Wreath. Yeah. Wreath. Yeah. If you use like a verb, it's kind of wrap, wrap up, right? When you wrap up something. When you wrap around, yeah, because it's, Porque es como envolver, mira. Yeah. yeah. Wreath. The wreath of laurel. Porque como it goes around your head. Yeah. Right? And then that's why I think that's right. La corona de laurel. All right. Well, yeah. you now, now we know. Wreath. Okay. Good. All right, guys. Moving. And these are some more words that I found. As if we didn't have enough words, right? But there is a lot. And the different different words, different ways of saying it. Now, you can do exactly what I did, right? When you see a word and you want to know how it's pronounced, you can go to the, you can go to the internet and you can use uh, Google Translate. Yo ocupo de los dos. Yo ocupo el Google Translate y ocupo este que se llama Lingui. Lingui. ¿Cómo es? Lingui. Lingui. I've been using this one for quite some time. So whenever I find a word, I pop it in and then I try to pronounce it. Right? So you guys can also do the same thing. All right. So with that, I, I wanted to go back a little bit into our platform. ¿Cómo vamos en la plataforma? When you guys last check, how were you guys feeling? Oh, my God, I'm really short on, oh, good Lord. I'm at 60%. That means that tonight I have to finish. I have to get to at least 80. All right, we're going to try that. We're going to try that. Let's see. We were doing section five. And let me see, I had lesson objective, conversation, lesson objective, the gerunds, the knowledge check, the lesson objectives, pronunciation, lesson objective, job hunting, lesson objective, then we had the personality traits, the lesson objectives, and then the clauses. All right. And then we start off with the knowledge check. And we go right into the final exam. Okay. How many of you guys are in section five? Every, anybody? Everybody? Did everybody pass section five? Acuérdense que you guys got to finish it. Si no hicieron los knowledge check, that's okay. A ver. Let's do the 5.13 knowledge check.
and see how that one turns out. And this is a complete the sentence with appropriate information using because. So this is directly tied to the last lesson, which was the use of because. All right. I wouldn't want to be a nurse is number one. And then you get an option, you get a set of options. Because I don't like hospitals, because I really enjoy mm -hmm. traveling, because I have terrible memory, because I'm terrible with numbers, because I love creative writing. Which yeah. one do you guys think is the best option? The first one. Hmm? The, the hospitals? Ones. You don't like the hospitals. Yeah. Because I don't like the hospitals. Why would you be a nurse and go work at a hospital? Why would you do that? Right? If you hate hospitals. Right. All right. I like to be a novelist, right? To write a novella, a novelist. I'd like to be a novelist because I don't like hospitals, because I really enjoy traveling, because I have a terrible memory, because I'm terrible with numbers, because I love creative writing. Yeah, the last one. Yeah, you love The last one? All right. Yeah, that one sounds okay. I could never be an accountant hmm. because I don't like right. hospitals, because I really enjoy traveling, because I have a terrible memory, because I'm terrible with numbers, because I love creative writing. Yeah, right. Because he's terrible with numbers. Terrible with numbers, terrible yeah. With numbers. yeah. Accounting numbers, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I would make a bad waiter because... He had terrible memory. Right? I don't even know who I'm gonna take this water to. Oh my God! Imagine having to try to keep up with all that. Yeah. Okay, I could be a flight attendant because you enjoy really enjoy traveling. Really enjoy traveling. All right, so there it is, guys. I think, right? We haven't yeah. done submit yet, but it looks pretty cool. I wouldn't want to be a nurse because I don't like hospitals. I like to be a novelist because I love creative writing. I could never be an accountant because I am terrible with numbers. I could, I would make a bad waiter because I have a terrible memory. And I could be a flight attendant because I really enjoy traveling. Yeah, that's it. We got it. So that is knowledge check 5.13. You yeah. click next and we start off in the final exam. Dun, dun, dun. Ya habíamos hecho la A. Right? Yeah. We filled A up. The listening, you guys were supposed to do the listening because I couldn't finish it. So for those of you guys who have finished it. Yeah. Okay. It said, number one, Sylvia. So has some old letters from her grandmother, is going to serve her old typewriter, or is happy with her laptop. She's happy with her laptop. She was happy with her laptop? Okay. Mm -hmm. According to Harry, if Marcia stays in her apartment, she may have to make a lot of repairs to it. She'll have more time to save for a house. She won't be able to afford a big old house. The second one. She'll have more time to save for a house. All right, let's see. Jim's dad speaks both French and Spanish, likes the idea of Jim becoming a flight attendant, or thinks Jim needs to take a vacation. Second one. Second one? All right, yeah. let's try that one. Mac is going to be a counselor at a summer camp, has a lot of patience to work with kids, wants to get a job at a national park. Yeah, the third one. The last one. The last one? Wants to get a job at a national park? Really, Mac? Yeah. All right, let's see. That's it. We got it. All money today. All right. Letra C on the final exam. We actually completed this one as well as a team. 
Yeah. And then that leaves us with D. Choose the correct word. Fiona carefully plans her day so she's never late for appointments. She likes to be creative, punctual, forgetful. I heard a punctual there. Punctual. Puntual in Spanish, right? Punctual. Puntual. Okay. Jerry tries to help people and never says no. When someone asks him for a favor, yeah, he's generous. He's generous, impatient, or disorganized? It's just generous. Sir. Generous, okay. Amy and Sam get angry easily and almost never smile. Everyone thinks they're level headed, hardworking, or bad tempered. Bad tempered. Bad tempered. Okay, let me go ahead and click on that. All right, so for this one, there's only three. Yeah. And we click submit and money. Piece Green. Green for money. All right. This is, I believe, the final one. This is E. Yeah. E for easy money. Match the sentences with the appropriate information. Okay. I like to work as an English teacher because I am too disorganized and can't stand hospitals, because I'm very patient and enjoy helping people learn, because I have an excellent memory and like meeting people, because I don't like to travel or work with people. The second, second one? The second one. Because I am very patient and enjoy helping people learn. Yeah. Es correcto. That's, that's your teacher right there. Ah. Hola, mi buenas tardes. Right. Me llamo Don Paciente. No, ¿cómo es? Señor Paciencia. <laughs> not, not Paciente. <laughs> Sorry, patient, patient. Paciencia. All right, all right. Number two. I wouldn't want to be a flight attendant because I'm too disorganized and can't stand hospitals, because I am very patient and enjoy helping people learn, because I have an excellent memory and like meeting people, because I don't like to travel or work with people. People, the last, the last one. one. The last one? I don't want to be a flight attendant because I don't like to travel or work with people. Jesus. Imagine working by yourself. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I would make a good waiter because I am too disorganized and can't stand hospitals, because I am very patient and enjoy helping people learn, because I have an excellent memory and like meeting people, because I don't like to travel or work with people. Because I have an excellent memory. Because of the excellent memory? Mm -hmm. All right. I could never become a doctor because I'm too disorganized and can't stand the hospitals, because I am very patient and enjoy helping people learn, because I have an excellent memory and like meeting people, because I don't like to travel or work with people. The first, the first one. The first one? The first one? Yeah. All right. And so for this one, that is it. We match them, we have four, and we are clicking submit, everybody. And okay. there it is. There it is. Section five and the final exam are in Chequecito Verdes. Ustedes, ¿cómo van? ¿Cómo quedaron? Do you guys need help in a specific session or in an acknowledge check? We can review it. Or if I haven't done it, we can do it. You guys can help me out. Help me I out. I just finished platform. You finished everything, Iris? Yes. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Did you guys, Alex, did you guys get the little thing that said claim your certificate? It's in my certificate yeah. in my wall. It, 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 uh, <laughs> there it is. There it is. All right, Alex. All right, let me see how I ended up. I think I missed one. I'm an 85. There it is. Oh, my God. Yeah, There's can. my certificate, guys. See? <laughs> I went to progress, and then here I request my certificate. 
All I needed to do was do 85%. I got, well, in the other one, I got 81% and I was able to get my certificate. Now, that doesn't mean that, you know, I procrastinate. No, 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 no. It's just, you know, sometimes we get really busy. But that's why, you know, we're asking for 80%, not 100. And so here it is. You guys can see that I left a couple of these, like, a mitad, la numero uno. Oh, my goodness, 37. 50, 67, 71. The midterm, we did pretty well, 80%. Final exam, 100, and that gives me the 85. All right, all right. That, I'll take that. I'll take that for a dollar, and let me go ahead and request my certificate. All right. Okay, Alex, let me see. Oh, there was, I'm trying to see if maybe I had left it here somewhere. The thing is that I found the, like a, a, an explanation. Mm -hmm. And let me see here. My God, where did I put it, man? I could have sworn I saved it. And it was with... Identify the Gerons in infinity. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then, so there's a specific, there's something, it was very, so if you had words that ended with ing, it, it said, if you have a word that ended with ing, then you needed to use um, the specific format. Hold on. I, 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 can, I can get it. All right, in the meantime, while I'm looking for this, do you guys have any questions about, um, do you guys have any questions about what's gonna happen next or have they, have they you know, is everything perfectly clear for you guys? It's clear. Everything is clear? Okay. Right. In regards to the modules, How many models are in this, in this area? Well, the thing is that it depends on how they have categorized you guys. And so right now we just finish advanced. I think it was advanced. Oh my God, let's see. We just, we just had it right here. Let me see. Uh, this would be intermediate two. So it comes out as I2, intermediate two. Uh, so we have basic, we have pre-advanced, and then intermediate, and then intermediate advanced, and then así, así va. va. Mm -hmm. This one it was intermediate two. So the next module you guys should be going into should be intermediate either three or maybe a form of advance. So it yeah. might be intermediate advance. Intermediate for you. module three. So intermediate module three. Okay, that's, yeah. yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh my goodness, Alex. And, and you know what? I pasé aquí toda la noche like looking for that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I know I have it. I know I have it. I just can't remember where I put it or how I saved it. Oh, man. Let's see. Let's do something. Rules to gerunds. Was that it? The rules to gerunds? Yeah. And no. oh. Basic rules for gerunds and infinitives. You know, this sounds like it might be it. Ah, oh, this is it. Yeah. Did I say I, I saved this? I saved this. Basic rules for gerunds. If I wonder where. Okay. But see, this is what I wanted to tell you yesterday, and I think I got a little bit tongue tied. Okay. So, 
a gerund, the press, the present participle ending with ing, right? And then the infinitive is just the two, adding the two, right? To whatever, you know, whatever verb you want to use, like to dance. Yeah. Okay. And then it tells you, goes a little something like this. Uh, the gerunds can be used after certain verbs, including enjoy, fancy, discuss. Uh, and then they tell you when you can use it. And then they tell you when you can use the infinitives. Right? So you can use a gerund after a preposition. For example, when you hear a sentence that starts off, I made dinner before getting home. So there, the gerund is getting. I made dinner before getting home. He looked unhappy after seeing his work. So if you see a preposition in a sentence, then we need to use a gerund. Okay. Okay. Now, you can also use it to replace a subject or an object of a sentence. So if you see that the sentence has either a subject or an object, Lockland likes eating coconut oil. So in this particular case, we used the gerund because, right, we have Lachlan. Lachlan likes eating coconut oil. We have jumping. Jumping off a cliff is dangerous. So in this particular case, jumping became the subject. So jumping is the subject and eating is the object. And because it is the object, it becomes a gerund. Because it is the subject, it is the gerund that we're going to use. So prepositions, mm -hmm. right? If you see a preposition, then that is a gerund. Okay. If you see the subject or an object, that is the gerund right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the infinitives. You can use the, the infinitive after an adjective. It is hard to make dinner this okay. late. Key stop me now. Two. Yeah. It is hard. I find it difficult. I start difficult to describe my feelings about writing research. And you can also use it to show purpose, to study Russian or to solve the mystery. These are the cases. Okay. All right. So I think that's yeah. that's I, I think that's the easiest way. Yeah. To kind of go and look at it. You just have to keep in mind that sentence. What is that sentence talking about? And then based on that, you can either decide on whether you need a gerund or you need an infinitive. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. No I problem, guess. no problem. No, thank you, Alex. Yesterday, I think I got a little tongue-tied. I was trying to do the past tense, and which is which yeah. is a it's, a it's a way of saying it mm -hmm. because if you saw the pre, the present present progressive, it's a way of using present progressive in a sentence, right? All right. Yeah. So let me go back here yeah. a little bit. All right. So that was pretty much it. For me, guys, congratulations on your module. Congratulations on passing the class. Please Thank remember you, to stay in touch in WhatsApp. Uh, you can also keep in touch, yes. uh, you know, through, you know, we're going to still stay within the same environment. Uh, we might change. They rotate the, the, the teachers as well. So there's a pretty good chance that you guys are going to land in another class, right, eventually. If you stay with us, which I would really recommend, you know, for you guys to stay with mm -hmm. us for as long as possible. And I want to wish you guys the best. Please Thank remember you. all the good things and forgive me for all the bad things. Uh, <laughs> una vez más, congratulations.
este pastelito me lo voy a comer yo solito, voy a estar llorando, okay. pero quiero que sepan que de todo, ¿verdad? con todo el corazón del teacher, I wanted to share it with you guys. All right. I want to give you guys your last gift, five minutes back. Okay. And thank you guys for coming to class. No, thank earlier. you for the participation. Thank you for being you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry yeah. Christmas. Happy, Happy New Year. Year. Happy Take New care, Year. everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.